The association was founded 22 years ago and it has about 325 members and they range in size from completely volunteer organizations and new startup organizations to larger, uh, very well established nonprofit organizations. Yeah, they've been struggling like all other aspects of the economy. We have had a, a significant drop in revenue, but one of the great things about Mississippi is Mississippians give about $8.1 billion a year away um, to nonprofits, the majority going to their religious affiliations and, and institution, and educational institutions. But, uh, you know, they've had to struggle through, you know, the downturn in the economy. Yeah, Mississippi has experienced two disasters recently, ob recently with obviously with Hurricane Katrina and then with the oil spill, both increased the need significantly. And there's been a fair amount of money pumped into Mississippi early on, but the revenue stream has dried up while the need is still there. So it, it is still a challenge for a lot of Mississippians. Yeah, most of the support for nonprofits comes from foundations and individuals. There's not a tremendous amount of state money that goes to nonprofits. And corporate money, there's a fair amount of, of corporate money. Um, Entergy, Blue Cross Blue Shield, there's some large corporate sponsors uh, that have been very kind to nonprofits, but there's very little state money that goes to nonprofits. Millsaps is very vo very focused on the community. We one of the examples of that is we just developed a minor in nonprofit management. We take um, individuals that have spent a lot of time in social services or religious studies or art studies, and we mainstream them into the business school. Uh, that one of the problems nonprofits have, and what we've discovered over time, has been. They're very good at their mission, but they're not very good at running organizations. So this teaches them the financial, marketing, and management skills they need to be effective nonprofit leaders.